welcome to Sport at 10 and uh, good to have you with us. Thank you very much, Tom. And, uh, <laughs> I know. I'm a very shy guy. <laughs> but on the field, I'm not shy. Oh, you're not shy? I'm not shy to oh. do what God has blessed me with. Uh, now, <clears throat> let's start with last year. Yeah. You, I think, gave something like, what, 500,000, yeah. uh, maybe a little bit more, rand to various charities. How difficult is it to give like that? As soon as I won Sports Star of the Year, and I was told that 500 must go to uh, any charity of my choice, I was so excited mm. because already that was my plan. When, when I was announced as the winner, mm. I told myself that I can't take all this money home. Mm. Just remind us, where did the money <clears> go? <throat> Uh, 500, I invested it. Uh, I, I bought a property with that 500 that I got. And then cash. the charity money? And the charity money, I donated 350,000 to my former school. And the 150 from that 500, I had to take it to an old age home. And those grannies, as much as they didn't know who I was, they knew who Itumeleng is <laughs> on the day. Abo Kok, Abo Kok, isn't it? Yeah, so... Tabo September, let's talk to you for a second here because you have been in uh, instrumental in your region. What are you involved in? Tell us about the Tabo September Foundation. Um, yeah, the foundation, um, you know, when you are a soccer player, you realize how fortunate you are, how lucky you are that you can play and, and work something that you love mm. and um, yeah so starting the foundation for me was to say these boys Southern Cape is in the garden route people know about the garden route because it's the nicest route to take when you go to Cape Town exactly you stop and uh. enjoy your life but um, with football there's so much football in that area that um, I saw the need that even before I end my career in soccer, I must start investing in the youngsters and making sure that they get the opportunity before I leave football. And um, yeah, and that's what is happening. I've got an under-17 boy playing in the national team now. Guys, you know, we see these things with foundations and stuff, and I have to ask you this, guy, this question straight. You don't earn anything no. from a foundation. It's no. not a cover for bringing <laughs> money in and then, you know, get a million, put me 100,000. You know, it's yeah. not that kind yeah, of thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's just the passion. You. Sometimes we forget how we were when we were kids, the, mm. the joy that a soccer ball could bring you. If I had a soccer ball now as a kid, I know Gune would join and want to play, you would want to play, everyone mm. would want to play. utabo has got a passion clearly for young footballers. That's where he's really focusing in terms of giving back. Once you start and you have your holding company and you're starting to do that, where will your focus be? What, what is your passion from a charity perspective? To be quite honest, as a goalkeeper, I mean, on my social networks and on my email address, I get a lot of requests. People want me to have a goalkeeping academy. Mm. To, I mean, a lot of people out there or youngsters are inspired by, by my work. I was also inspired by Brian Baloy, whom I grew up watching. He, gave, he once gave me a pair of gloves that I slept with in my bed for the, for the next two weeks. Mm. So I, I, like, I know that feeling that when someone says, can I please have a pair of gloves? I even had to ask Nike to come in the picture and help me to say, I, I've got a budget of my gloves that I use throughout the season, mm. but can you please give me other gloves that you can put my name on? And I know every game I go to, I need to carry gloves. Like there's an initiative I introduced last season mm. where every after game I would spot someone wearing Kune jersey number 32 wearing an armband those people are fans but I would go to one of them and give them my clubs so mm. that's the initiative I've introduced and those clubs will end <coughs> up with the goalkeeper in the community yes and that's uh, and that even if I idea. give them to a lady or to a gentleman he goes home he gives them to mm his son mm. and his son will be so inspired to say I want to be like Kune one day I wanted to be like Brian and be beyond and it, that's exactly what I've achieved the armbands and I see it here it's written on the actual armband it says I'm possible not impossible I yes. actually read it the first time and I thought impossible it says I'm possible so I'm gonna put that on and I owe you 50 rand you do that, I owe you that, 50 that, rand <laughs> for this because this, is a, this is a 50 <laughs> rand armband but I'm giving towards a great cause as far yeah. as the football yeah. is concerned one day to wrap things up, guys, one day when we look back and Itumelen Kune's uh, foundation holdings is now up and running, where do you want it to be? What do you want it to see it doing? How big do you want it to be eventually? 
to be quite honest, I'm not looking at it being the biggest out of them all. I just want to help people. If I help people and they're happy, that's how I want my, 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 my holding company to, to, to do in the future. The goal for the Tabo September Foundation, and also tell us, how do we get hold of the foundation? Um, for one, if you get the, you go into the website, uh, taboseptemberfoundation.co.za, mm. and um, yeah, you can see our pictures at, um, on Instagram as well, uh, at Tabo uh, TS underscore foundation one. But to answer the, the other question as well, we, all we do is try to help to give a hand. And if Kune can help so many kids, and I can contribute just like Sia and Kosi yeah. is also doing his tournaments yeah. back home. Um, we've got all these close to is doing something during the... No, Lennox in, in, Lennox in George. So we, we, we all, as a collective, we're doing... That's, that's what counts. If we can change one kid's life, um, for us, it's a, it's a big achievement. Well, you've already done that, both and, of you gentlemen. Last, last thing from me, we urge other footballers, if they can, make a difference in their communities or where the help is needed. Yeah. We can join together and become one and help one another. Mm. Like, as much as we are 11 versus 11 on the pitch, yeah. we can also team up, come up with ideas, and try and help the so whole of South Africa, even beyond. I mean, across the, the, the borders, just to, to, to touch people's lives. Come, I mean, last June, I was in Lesotho. So many people follow South African football. Hmm. In Botswana, so many people follow South African football. So all I'm saying is we can even just go across mm. and just put a smile on other people's lives. And it will mean a lot to them for the rest of their lives. Yeah,